What's good everyone, my name is Hims and welcome back to another Minecraft Survival Let's Play episode. And in last episode, we ended up covering the whole entire island in Moss Blocks as well as building up this super tall lighthouse as you see right here on the west end of the island. And in today's episode, episode 12, we are going to be finishing up our starter camp area. That's right, we are going to be finishing the builds up in this place and hopefully moving on to build our futuristic mega base. Now I have been playing a bunch of Minecraft, but it hasn't really been on camera guys, or even in this world. I have been doing a bunch of testing in my creative world for the future of our futuristic mega base on this island. Uh, like I said a couple episodes ago, this is going to be like a huge futuristic island city metropolis thing. I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit uh, dystopian, if you will, kind of ruined up, and it's gonna be inspired by a couple of amazing video games and us uh, and, and series and stuff like that that's based off of the futuristic society but before we can do that we have to finish up our little log cabin getaway and look at how far we have come in the 12 episodes guys and this area still has a lot of work to do but i do plan on doing all that work in today's episode especially with mindy and our other villager right here we're going to be doing some stuff with them and uh yeah our main thing that we're going to build our main huge building is going to be a super big gatehouse right here i think to cap off this little circular area we could just build a huge gatehouse right here and it's going to look awesome especially with the lighthouse in the background and everything like that and i also have plans in the future to incorporate this little campsite into a dystopian futuristic society it's gonna be weird but i think you guys might like it if you've been around my channel for a while so we still have a bunch of resources to work with like we, we don't really have to do any resource grinding for this build out here so before we even do that build i do want to do some detail work guys this uh area especially back here we don't even have a mine shaft setup or anything like that we're gonna build one and then just coming through here you know i want to add a bunch more details it looks bland uh there's grass and random spots you know i would like to kind of hand place every single grass and uh every single little bush in this area get rid of some of these carpets because i don't really like too many of them and yeah finish up this little area and as you guys can see there is a lot to do so i'm gonna go ahead and do some in a cool little montage i guess i don't know let's let's try it out And after a little while of working, here it is everyone. Now I went through and I tried to touch every single block, made sure that every single block was thought about. And yeah, here we are. Oh. It looked like an Enderman came through here. But yeah, I added just a bunch of detail through here. I even used some of the new rooted dirt along with coarse dirt and regular dirt to kind of add to the pathway, add some texture. Got crops growing everywhere because I like my, my area to be lively, right? Got a whole bunch of different plants. Uh, here's a cool little trick. If you guys want to use the azalea bush with a leaf on top, it actually looks like a too tall bush, which is really, really nice. Uh, we got a couple of flowers, some saplings that can grow. And then I'm really happy with the, how this came out right here. This is just like a little garden area that I decided I want a bunch of detail in and it would be amazing if we could get one of those spore blossoms uh, you know in survival in 1.17 I wish we could get them through a wandering trader but you know for now we just have an end rod right there giving off some sort of particle effect but it would be really cool to have that particle effect right here in my base oh and here is another neat little trick you can actually put the azalea bushes the one with the flowers on them on the ground underneath these trees and it kind of just looks like 
some petals fell on the ground. I don't know, I kind of like it. And then yeah, just come to the back right here. Again, some more little detail bits, some pathway bits. And then we have a dripstone monument, I guess you can say. Uh, just because I didn't know where to put any dripstone, so I thought, hey, might as well put it next to the mine shaft, right? And speaking of mine shaft, here it is. I mean, it's, it's a quirky little mine shaft. It looks very overly detailed for no reason. I kind of just put them randomly without thinking about it. But I mean, it is what it is. This is my this is what episode 12 and we finally have a mine shaft. Jeez. But coming back out to the front, I mean, we don't really have much else. I did kind of work on the lighthouse entrance just a little bit, made it so it's a little wider and actually has a little entrance roof bit. But yeah, guys, that, that was it. I mean, it's, it's hard for me to call any of my builds or any of my projects finished, but I feel like this is getting pretty close to finished. I mean, it looks highly detailed. I still want to do a few things in and around the place, though, so it's definitely not finished, and it might not be finished until 1.18. But we are going to technically be building the very last building in this little encampment. It's going to be right here. It's going to kind of cap off this side of the village and it's gonna look really cool it's just a little gatehouse design that i went ahead and came up with in creative so let's go ahead and get some materials and all that stuff ready now i know i'm gonna need a bunch of oak wood which is really good because we had that whole forest out here if you guys remember that yeah it's completely gone now so i ended up getting a bunch of wood and then let's see oh we'll also need some stone as well some cobblestone and this gatehouse was designed in creative, which I normally don't do, but to be honest, I should have just created it in survival because it's a really simple design. And if you guys do want to learn how to build it, then let me know. I might even make a tutorial for it just because it's such a simple design, but it looks really cool. And it really does fit the style of the little log cabin area that we have going here. So here we have all of the materials that we need. We might even need a little bit more than this. But now is the time where I'm going to go ahead and kind of doll this place up, right? Flatten out the landscape, get it to where we can start planning out the foundation of this new little gatehouse that we're going to add. I'm, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really cool. So here it is. I went ahead and did a little bit more than the just the foundation i went ahead and build up the first level and i'm kind of just getting a feel for it right i still got to come through and terraform a little bit of this and just kind of fit it into the landscape a bit but i think it's looking pretty cool and if we fly up right here you can clearly see uh that this kind of just closes off the area right it's just going to give us a nice little circular area to work with and our whole camp is just going to be kind of condensed into one this one little area now without this gatehouse i kind of felt like it looked just really unfinished, but even with these first couple layers put in, uh, I don't know, it's it's just really starting to give it a certain vibe in this area, and I'm really, really liking it. So now for the next layer, we're going to be building it up with a bunch of oak and a bunch of like white wool and calcite and diorite and stuff. I went ahead and uh, textured up this build a bunch. I'm also going to go back through every single building and just give them one final pass over at the end of this episode. Like I said, we're trying to do a lot of work in this episode, get the terraforming done, get this last building done, and we still got to do some fun stuff with Mindy and uh, this other villager that I don't have a name for but yes Mindy has been giving us the mending books also smite too hey not that bad but yeah we also have this other villager right here which has punch one now uh, feather falling which has been amazing for one book in or one book in an emerald but this is uh, the trade that we've been doing right the paper trade with the emeralds getting the emeralds coming over to Mindy and getting the mending trade and this is on Bert He's still here chilling. Don't worry But yeah, I really do want to do something else with these guys because having them both trapped in this building doesn't feel too good to me Man it doesn't feel too good. So we have a bunch of diorite calcite and wool for that third layer But for this second layer We're gonna be building it up with a bunch of oak wood like how, how I just said and we're also gonna need some spruce and everything like that and it's it's a really simple design this build this whole cabin area is a really simple kind of design all following the same sort of theme so i'm really excited to branch out of here and start building some other builds but yes to finish this off we're going to do the second layer right here uh, it's mostly wood and then the third layer is going to be all those materials that we spent so much time gathering up and then finally capping it off with the roof it's going to look really really good and i'm super excited to finally get this little campsite area finished and with just a little bit more work, we have the gatehouse finished. Oh, I'm loving the way it looks, man. It really fits in with the rest of the bills that we have going on right here. And this place is almost finished, guys. And I say almost because, like I said, we still have a little bit more work to do with the villagers and everything like that. And speaking of villagers, hold on, let me show you guys something. So I was working on this and I was kind of AFKing for the flags to turn, but oh my gosh, it takes so long for copper to turn, which is a good thing. But check this out. What? 
happened to the villager breeder, dude? And we have an Enderman in there that won't leave. But I have no clue what happened. I guess the zombie got in there somehow. I mean, they must have had to, right? I don't know if they spawned over here, jumped over here. Um, I don't know if one actually spawned in there, which is very worrisome. And it looks like that one of our villagers is gone. So we only have one left. Good thing we did breed up a few villagers before that happened. They're all kind of just waiting here, sitting right here. So I will have to fix this villager breeder in a little while. But the next thing that I wanted to do was come over here and hang out with Mindy for a little while. Now, it's been a while since we've done anything with Mindy and, uh, you know, her storyline and all that good stuff. But we will get to it in the meantime. But... Uh, you know, it, I gotta, I gotta fix up this interior. I'm, I suck with interiors, guys. I know it's, it's like a thing, right? That Minecrafters do, not interiors. I'm just really curious on how this happened. Like, <laughs> I have no clue how this would have happened. And that Enderman needs to leave, man. You're stealing all my mouse blocks. Yeah, just flying around this area feels really good right now. I'm feeling very, very satisfied with how this place turned out. We've been working on it for a while now. That's past 12 episodes, so I'm glad that it's almost finished almost laid to rest but yes let's go ahead and get some uh interior decoration going all right so i got the villagers over on this side and i think i want to give them like a countertop right because they're kind of in the beginning of our little village you guys see right here if you walk in you turn directly left and here's mindy's house so i want them to kind of be like the shopkeepers of this little town i guess you could say uh let's i don't, I don't really know how i'm gonna do this either I don't really know how I want this to look. No, no planning. This is all just like in the moment kind of decorating, uh, which I don't do a lot of interiors. So this is, this is weird. Yeah, something like that doesn't look too bad. And we can even throw in some spruce trap doors to make these further blend in like that. Oh, I actually kind of like that. Okay, let's go ahead and add a couple more. Maybe we could get like an item frame or a sign right there. But yes, these can be like our two little merchants of the village. I really like that. We still got to get a name tag for this guy, but I'm not really too sure. And then I was thinking for the floor... We can try some of these new blocks, right? The cobbled deep slate. Oh, I love the sound of that. Hold on. The tink tink. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I am really digging the cobbled deep slate as a floor. And we're going to go ahead and put an iron door on here because zombies like to break down my wooden door and try to get at these guys. But yes, and I also have an item frame and we're going to go ahead and just put a mending book in there. Just to kind of, you know, say that, hey, this is the mending station right here. And I really don't know what we're going to do with Zombert. I don't know if he's going to be like a helper around the shop. I'm not really too sure what to do with him. But the inside is almost done. A lot of this roof work that we're going to end up doing is going to be just like a lot of patchwork. Just patching it up, making it look nice. But I do want a really long light installment coming out the roof right here. And I'm not really too sure how I want to do this. I think it'll be like a block... It'll be a block lower than this where this is at. So let me go ahead and get some filler blocks, like some granite and stuff. All right, I'm back with some granite and stuff. So let's go ahead and just fill this in. You know what? Let me get that wood. I'll just use that to pillar up really quick. Don't mind me, Mindy. I'm just all up in your personal space. Okay, let's uh, Okay, get down. Get down. Oh, by the way, I have this new pick. It's a fortune pick, fortune three. And I named it seven, lucky number seven. Uh, anyway, I don't know why I felt the need to tell you guys that right now. I'm kind of going off on tangents. Okay, let's just, we're just going to do like a ring of granite right here. Close off the roof. And then from the middle, I want to hang, oh, come on, give me that. I want to hang a hopper with some chains on it. And we might put a lantern on it. We might put an end rod on it because it looks a little more mystical. But we'll go ahead and see. I also really love the particles that, you know, end rods give off and all that good stuff. So let's see, how am I going to do this? Maybe we could... This is some this is some interior design on camera, folks. Where where else are you gonna get this? All right, let's go ahead and put some chains down. Oh, yeah, I really like the hopper how it kind of droops the chain. It, it it just matches up perfectly, right? It makes it look like it's like an actual light installation. Okay, let's go ahead and drop this down, and let's go ahead and take one off. And right here, I think is where we're gonna go ahead and place the end rod. How does that look? I mean, it looks cool. I, right, Enderman. Stealing moss blocks? Is that the one from the, uh, <laughs> hold on, I get distracted easily. No, why is that guy still in there? I'm not understanding. Okay, anyway, uh, if you guys know why that Enderman is staying in the farm right there, please let me know, because that's weird. Okay, let's try it with a lantern. So I did bring lanterns with me as well. Ah, that just looks so cool. Get rid of these torches. I really, really like the lanterns, man. I think that they add so much to Minecraft. But yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and just continue patching this up right here. Okay, so I don't know what made me want to do this, but we're going to do it. <laughs> we have little Zombert right here. Uh, he's going to be the shop helper. That's, hey, quit hitting me, fool. I'm trying to put you. Hey, quit. 
Hey. Okay, so we got him on the rail right there. I'm going to go ahead and replace these two blocks with some redstone blocks. Put the powered rail back on it. And yeah, he's just going to kind of be moving back and forth. You know, he's the shop. He's the shop helper. You know, he, he has a lot of stuff to do. He has a lot of work to get done. So he's just <laughs> he's just walking back and forth, getting his work done, man. Oh, we should give him like a little stick. Oh, we should give him a stick. So it's a broom. Hey, oh, hold on. This is Zombert's cousin. What's going on? Why am I like this? <laughs> Here, can you even hold stuff, Zombert? I don't even think you're a zombie that can hold stuff. It takes like a certain zombie to pick stuff up, right? Man, we can't even give Zombert his broom? Are you serious? You're a sucky helper, Zombert. Hold on. Oh, I can't follow him. Oh, he's too fast. He's too fast for me. All right, then, Zombert, you don't want to hold your broom. We're just going to put it right by you. You can just grab it whenever you want. Oh, that's, oh, that's weird. <laughs> Check out the name tag. Why are we just goofing off so much in this episode? Okay, the last thing that I want to get done in this episode is this villager breeder. Apparently, uh, something bad happened. I don't know. And our friend Enderman is still in there. You know what? Let's crack up open. Let's crack this open. Let's get up in there. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, let's just go in here. Um, do we have the silk touch? Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm very indecisive about things this episode. I don't know what's going on, really. It's kind of a goofy episode. Come on. Get out of my face. Yeah, this is where they were spawning for sure. That has to be where the zombies were spawning, right? And what are you... Oh, I forgot. I forgot they do that when you look at them. Okay, well, I just got the chills. Oh, I was going to say this is our friend, but now... Okay. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't hit. Oh, no. I'm going to die. 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. <gasps> no. You think you can take me out in my own camp? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's hard, man. Oh, I forgot that I had my elytra on, not a uh, chest plate. Anyway... Uh, you guys didn't see that. All right, so we got to hoe up the area again, and then we're going to go ahead and break some of these carrots so we can replant them. And I guess I have to go through here and really sort out what's going on because it looks like these spots are un like not spawnable um, because of the light in here. But I guess there's not that much light in these corners, huh? So that makes sense as to why they turned into zombies. Oops, sorry, guys. That was my bad. Okay, this time I have taken no chances. I legit just doused this place. In torch flame so hopefully that will keep all the zombies out but now we got to get some zombies out of here do i have a minecart no let me go get a minecart we're gonna get a couple brand new fresh villagers uh and they're gonna go ahead and just live the rest of their life in captivity because that's what we do in minecraft okay so i actually haven't tested this out too much let's see if this works will it just pick up a villager like if i break that and then oh what's happening lag okay so if i break that put a minecart on there get on there oh are you on the path block now oh that's interesting Okay, let's go ahead. Yes, pick one up. Okay, now we got to get him um, all the way over here. Oh, man. You're going to mess up my uh, tilled soil for detail. Okay, let's go ahead. Drag it over here. And these guys shouldn't, like I said, they shouldn't have any issues. I went ahead and put light all in throughout the, uh, the farm right here. And I'm just, I'm really hoping that we don't get any more hiccups because, you know, when you, when you f complete a farm, you want to... Ooh, you want to feel like it's finished and not have to go back there every once in a while. Okay, let's go ahead. It's basically keeping up maintenance, right? We got to do we got to do villager maintenance right now. Hey, get back. Go, 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 go. Go this way. Go this way. Go that way. Okay, so I have the two villagers in there, but they're still in their mine carts. I want to see. Can I get through doing this? No, I can't. Okay. Aha, I do see a little opening though. So let's go ahead and see if we can make this shot. Get in there. Yes, we did it. Okay, and let's go ahead and break these mine carts. The reason why I wanted to do that it's because villagers outside of minecarts, man. Oof, they are a pain. Let's go ahead and plant this back. And then, so these guys are going to take a while to gather and fill their inventory with the carrots. Because I think they have to do that before they breed. And perfect, one already is a farmer. So this is going well. Our our, our villager uh, maintenance is actually going well. So that's good to, to see. Because, oh, not many things are going well. Whoa. Hey, what's going on down here, man? Y'all having a little party? Are you guys just glitched inside the glass? Okay, well, hey, you guys aren't getting hurt. What's the issue, right? Ah, and now I can finally take a little bit of a break, man. We have been doing this episode for about a week or something like that. I've just been coming on and doing little random bits and bobs. So sorry for this episode feeling very sporadic. But uh, if you guys made it to the end of the episode, I wanted to ask you guys a question. What should we put in these two towers? Now, Obvious answer is pumpkin melon farm, right? I was thinking a pumpkin farm and a melon farm. I think it'll be cool. It'll give us uh, some use of these buildings instead of them just being hollow 
vessels for aesthetic. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in these towers. But that is all the time that I have for in today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. This one was a weird one, but we did end up getting a bunch of stuff done. Ended up finishing this little area, and I'm super excited to move on with the rest of our base. But if you guys like this episode, go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment as well. Constructive criticism is always welcome. And let me know what you guys want to see in these towers. And if you guys want to see more builds like this, then go ahead and subscribe. But until next time, guys, I'm out.